YouTube, what's going on? Electric, uh, oh, Horse Racing Gamer here, not my anime channel. Horse Racing Gamer here, welcome back to Pocket Stables, because I have been recording videos from my Electric Kame uh, anime channel. We're back with Pocket Stables, and we're just kind of getting right back into the swang of fangs now. Um, let's see, who to train? Plucky Tom did very well. I would like to kind of get into the breeding. Fine Charger's almost ready to go, same as Spirit Tom. So we're going to do drop that fatigue to get Spirit Tom basically back at no fatigue. Fantastic. And we're going to do the same for um, a Fine Charger as well. Because we'll see if we can get both of them in a race this week. If we can get them in the same race, that'd actually be pretty cool. But I don't think we can actually do that at the same time, can we? I don't think we can. Anyways, we're going to continue to drop this massage or continue to drop this uh, fatigue as much as possible with the massage. It's about as far as uh, we can go. Are there any new abilities to learn? There are not. That's fine. Training plan, we'll still keep that where it is. Actions, anything to upgrade here. Um, temper, get a boost out of the gate. That would be nice. We'll spend 20 medals to upgrade that. Another save here. You got plenty of money. Um, breeding, we have four studs. Now, who would probably be the best to use for breeding? Obviously, Black Lola is, I think, the highest uh, ranked horse in terms of abilities at a grade three. So probably Black Lola as a seven-year-old. Plucky Tom is kind of going to be ready to go out here. Even though, when you look at these, these grades... Uh, to the left of the horses. Black Lola is all ease. Fine Charger actually is at a C plus for intensity. And Spirit Tom is even at a B plus. So maybe one of these horses would actually be better long term. But because I'm just getting into breeding for the first time, we'll probably stick to doing Black Lola. And now to select a mare. So we have Northerner, Hefty, Chateau, and Charger. Now I, I did the research on the Hefty. A pedigree line and as you can see it's looking pretty good d d d b as in boy and can run on both grass and dirt i like um a horse that can do both from the beginning I get max stand plus 50 and gate ability will be plus 20 i think both of those are going to be pretty crucial um for us let's see and stamina this for a hefty Mare will be A, speed will be C, dexterity will be B, and intensity will be C. So yeah, I I'm liking Hefty the most. I think this will be the best. And it'll cost $200. Wait, Mare Chateau. I did not select that. I meant here. So yes, this is what we'll do. Mare Hefty. And go ahead and breed. Introduce Mare Hefty to Black Lola. Black Lola has arrived at the ranch of Mayor Hefty. I think this is our first time breeding, or have we done it before? Black Lola has moved to the partner's ranch. Let's hope for successful breeding. All right. Let's get it. I am excited. Um, look for a new horse, yada, yada, yada. We're not buying a new horse. Now, can you just study horses? Is that how that works? Maybe, maybe not. Um, Money-wise, I think we're okay. Actions, we're still breeding. There's still items that we can buy as well. Expand your ranch, 2000 That is definitely what I would like to do. So we're going to save up for that. So let's actually see if we can get one of our horses in a race today. Plum Stakes. Six races, no wins. Why have we not won at the Plum Stakes Grade 3 race yet? $1,500. Now, can Black Lola do this race? Yes, Black Lola should be able to do this race. This race is only available for three... Oh, I forgot. Black Lola is breeding. So we can't do that anyways. Um, We have novice races, which we don't need. Let's do another 16 mil qualifiers. We need that money. Four races, four wins. Um, Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do Fine Charger with... Fine Charger is bad at grass. There seems to be limited potential. That's I have it in my notes that Fine Charger is good at grass. Okay. Now I need to actually look at Fine Charger. I'm confused. Um. Okay, yeah, Fine Charger is not good at grass. They're right, and neither is Spirit Tom. So only good grass horse is Plucky Tom and Black Lola. So I may have to go Plucky Tom for this one. 
because I don't want to take the chance of putting uh, any horse that's bad at this dis at this course setting in there. So I guess we'll have to roll with the old Ed Plucky Tom and Lenny Ling, probably. Um, we'll do old. Actually, will we do Lenny or will we do Michael? Yeah, Lenny's still better overall. She is definitely the best of our jockeys. He's quite fatigued. Uh, I forgot. Yep, we can't do that. Gosh darn it, we may have to take a rain check. Or, actually, I don't want to waste a race week. We're going to go ahead and do something else. We'll go ahead and do either a Megacom or something on the dirt. Because everything else is grass. Lucky Tom needs a week off. We'll do the Megacom Ultra Local Race. Um, quite a long race at 2,400 meters. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for either Spirit Tom or Fine Charger. Spirit Tom for sure. He's got the stamina. He should do good on the dirt. Lenny Ling will be riding. And you know what? We can actually try to put Fine Charger in here as well with, uh, Michael. So we'll enter both horses in this race. Woohoo! So, we'll see how this, uh, how this goes for us. I'm kind of excited. Hopefully we get the win uh, with, I believe, Fine Charger. And then hopefully Spirit Tom is able to, uh, you know, if we can get a 1-2, that, that would be fantastic. That's obviously what we can hope for. Make sure we save. And like I said, we're saving up money because we want to expand our ranch. Uh, so we're not really going to spend it on much of anything. Upgrade complete. Starter is now upgraded to level 2. Fantastic. Continue to collect our money from all the wine, the fine, lovely people visiting our park. I, I, I don't know why I said wine. I don't know what W word I was even going to use. But yeah, our fine park that may have wine if you are of the drinking age. Well, park ranch, whatever you want to call it. 6.30 or 6 o'clock p.m. Everybody, time's, time to go to sleep, peeps. It's time to go to sleep, people. All right, so we're at a grand. Hopefully, by the end of the, today's races, we'll be close to two grand. Well, now I forgot the $172 monthly maintenance. Everybody back out, and we're ready to go. Hal will be training with, I believe that's Spirit Tom. Hold on, which horse is that? Because they all kind of look alike. That's Plucky Tom. That's Fine Charger. Fine Charger and Spirit Tom look almost alike. Fine Charger is just a little bit darker. So, Hal's on Fine Charger. Uh, I believe Michael's on Spirit Tom. Regardless, both horses are heading out. Spirit Tom with Lenny Ling and, I believe, Fine Charger with Michael. We're loading up. We're heading to the Metrodome track. Both jockeys, both horses ready to go. This should be a good one. 2,400 meters, though, a very long race. So, endurance is going to be tested here today. It's time for the Mega Comb Ultra Race to begin. Here comes the horses. Gate one is Fine Charger, ridden by Michael Echo. So he'll come out in a pinch. He's not the favorite. Gate two, Starfire, ridden by Tommy Amos. He's got a nimble body. Watch out, Spirit Tom. Gate three, Mega Pony, ridden by Timothy Lord. Talk about endless stamina. Gate four, Half Moon. We actually need to do tactics. Spirit Tom, I'm going to send to the front. Fine Charger, I'm going to have Stalk in second place. Gate 5, Spirit Tom, ran by Lenny Lane. Talk about endless stamina. He's the most popular. 419 points of stamina. Lenny and Spirit are looking good. Gate 6 is Snap Crackles, ran by Freddy something. Feel the 6, both of our horses in this race. I'm looking for a 1-2. We need the 1-2 here. Let's hope that we can get it. Fine Charger, gate position 1. Spirit Tom, gate position 5. This is one of the first times we've had both of our horses in the same race. And here we go. Pretty good start by all the horses. Lenny Ling and Spirit Tom already outside of our screen, basically. Can I switch to her? And I can. Spirit Tom currently sitting in third. Lenny is absolutely rolling. I mean, excuse me. Lenny is on Spirit Tom. Michael's on Fine Charger, who is now kind of back and forth between second and third place. Let's go ahead and look at him since Lenny is really ahead and we don't even need to look at her. Need to make sure that Michael can keep a Fine Charger in the second place position. Um, he's dropping stamina a little bit with left and less than half the race to go. So furlong now. I'm assuming it's a very, very long furlong. Or are we going around? We're going around the track um, more than once. All right, that's different. 
at 2400 meters Ah, uh, looks like both of my horses are dropping back. I didn't think tactically it may have been smarter to have them sit back a little bit. But I don't know. Maybe we're not the only ones that are going to be suffering from stamina. I hope not, at least. Lenny and Spirit are still out the front. Michael's trying to push Fine Charger through. Gosh, yeah, my tactics probably were not smart. Oh, boy. Lenny. Okay, Lenny actually still has some stamina. Maybe she was just being patient. Spirit Tom, our fine charger definitely died out. Lenny still has plenty of stamina left in the tank for Spirit Tom. She's going to get the win. More than 10 lengths. And fine charger is still going to come in third. That's not bad, but endurance definitely hurt him. I certainly probably should have had him uh, a little bit further back. Since Spirit Tom had, you know, ridiculous amounts of stamina, fine charger I probably should have had be maybe a closer. Nonetheless, six hundred twenty dollars for Spirit Time to get the win. One eighty six for Fine Charger in second place. That at least will still get us close to I think sixteen, eh, seventeen hundred, maybe even eighteen hundred dollars in money. Great win there! Congratulations on your first championship. Excellent. Spirit Time is a big hit with our users. Please take this with our respects. We got twenty five medals. Sixteen hundred dollars is what we're currently sitting on. And um, actions lab, you could build a spa. We don't have enough metals for it, but we will be doing that eventually. Training, let's go ahead and get Fine Charger and Spirit Tom down. Yeah, Spirit, I messed up Fine Charger. Stamina is only 174. I should have been much more mindful of that, but now I will. That was an honest mistake. And now I know what to do for Fine Charger next time. We might do that race back to back again. I want to change the tactics because I know. We know Spirit Tom can win with ease, so I want to see if Fine Charger can get up there for a second place if we have him uh, race a little bit more conservatively. That is ideally what I want to go for. So I'm going to do that race again just to see if we can get away with that. Hopefully we can. All right. Continuing to drop this fatigue. I also forgot, since they're kind of maxed out, statistically speaking... I can adjust their training to just have them do more resting than anything because, like I said, we um, I know this is costing quite a bit of money to drop this uh, fatigue, but I would like to get back to racing sooner rather than later. So let's actually look at the training plan. The walking circle is for speed and dexterity. We really don't need it. Stamina is fine. Uh, let's go ahead, send him out to the pasture. So, spirit time in the pasture, fine charger, pretty much the same thing. Neither of these horses need to do anything else. So, I have them both out in the pasture. We'll have Lenny work with, uh, spirit Tom. Yeah, all right. That's, that's pretty good. So, their fatigue should start dropping a lot more. We won't enter them in a race today. Maybe Plucky Tom will enter in a race. 16 mil. Uh, I forgot. What does Plucky Tom actually like? Hold on a second. Plucky Tom likes dirt. So can we uh, drop him, drop his fatigue? Put him on the dirt. I figure we can alter races. One week we do a race with Plucky Tom. The other week we'll do a race with Spirit uh, Tom and Fine Charger. I wish you could change these horses' names. Can you? Because it gets a little confusing talking about the different Toms and all that stuff. I'd rather just have entirely different horse names. But anyways, we'll go ahead and see what race we can do. We need to do dirt. And maiden race doesn't really make sense for our horse, but that's probably all we can do. Maiden and up. Can we even put Plucky Tom in this race? We can. So we can have Michael or Lenny. We'll have Michael. Um ride plucky tom there now let's see what else can we upgrade more lab stuff rearrange all this stuff i'm glad we're getting it but we need more money uh, i'm not gonna upgrade anything because i want to save up i'm kind of obsessed with the racing com of the sports i really wanted to see spirit time and race and mega com on my day off i might learn something businessman is here to observe the ranch what a generic, lovely name. Hey, my name is Businessman. Let me observe your ranch, shall I? It's like, okay, bro. Whatever you need to do, man. Whatever you need to do. All right. I think we're pretty much good right now. Um, I could train. Actually, I could continue to train my jockey. Is what I was going to try to say. 
Michael still needs some more training. Um, let's have him train up a little bit. That way he'll also be better at training our horses when he needs to. So we'll go ahead and do this a couple of times. We'll focus on his train up. Realistically, I guess I don't need to be too concerned about that. Only for the simple fact that Hal is pretty good at the training uh, responsibilities. And all of our horses are maxed out currently. So I don't think I'm really missing out. Lenny, we're going to get her going a little bit. Um, I guess train up for her. Because Lenny is pretty solid. She's definitely our best. And actually, that's all we will need to do for now. Okay. So everybody is doing their thing. Training. We're saving up metal so we can expand the ranch. Most importantly, as always, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I've been having fun playing this uh, today. It's Like I said, it has been a long, 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 long time. I did want to start over. I was thinking about even rebuying this game like on PS4 and just starting on console. I thought maybe that would be a little bit different. But since I've already made so much progress here, it just doesn't make sense to start over uh, on my other my old phone. So we're, we're, we're going to keep it rolling here. All right, so I guess last race of the day here with Plucky Tom. Um, actually, we're going to do two more races. We're going to do one race with Plucky Tom, and then we'll do a last race with Spirit Charger, or Spirit Tom and Fine Charger, to see if Spirit, um, if Fine Charger can actually come in second place if I change his racing tactics. Have him be a closer and see what he has at the end. Okay. Maiden race has arrived here. Michael Equus and Plucky Tom are heading out to Bloom Town Track. Yeah, let's hope we can get the win, <laughs> most importantly. Welcome to today's maiden race, winless, uh, yada, 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 tactics, plucky Tom. He has a stamina. He should be able to lead early and stay out. We're just going to go ahead and start. Okay. Field uh, five, short field. Yeah, this should be pretty easy for plucky Tom. Pretty easy win in the making. And we're off. Slow start initially, but now Michael's going to send him directly to the front. Fantastic. I didn't realize you could actually do that. Just to make the screen a little bit uh, wider. Easy win. Plenty of stamina left in the tank. I could have him just go just right from the front. It's about as easy as it gets. Seven-year-old Plucky Tom is still rolling. That's at least, what, 15, 20 lengths. Almost five whole seconds. Yeah, that was almost a 20 length win for plucky tom six hundred dollars we'll take it it's about as easy as it gets it's all we need to do and uh, we are just so close to being able to expand our ranch whatever cost 2k or 2 mil or two excuse me 2k it is it was 2k um they said something what is new here i've looked at everything is there a new category somewhere um Ah, palm trees, yes. Or a coconut tree. Let's place a coconut tree right here. I cannot build there. Okay, where can I place a coconut tree? Doesn't look like I can really place one anywhere, unfortunately. Place one back there. Four appeal. Absolutely fantastic stuff. All right. Let's go to our horses. Um, not abilities. Sorry, I keep doing that. Train. All right, we are looking at Fine Charger and Spirit Tom. Still got to drop this uh, this fatigue down. Now, after today's events, if we're able to get a 1-2 in a race for both of these, well, I think it'll be tomorrow's race. If we're able to get a 1-2 in tomorrow's race, that should put us right where we need to be to, um... To hopefully be above two grand. That is what I'm aiming for. Spirit Tom will keep on the same strat as we had last time. Fine Charger, we're going to switch to a closer. Because I definitely think with the lack of stamina, that's going to be the best. We still came in third place, even running with kind of a an early uh, pace strategy. So I think if we set him to a closer, second place may be a little bit better. Especially with the low stamina. Because now if we look and try to compare and find Charger's stamina, it's only a 174. He has the lowest stamina out of all of our horses, and it won't get much better than that. 
Um, if we had abilities for stamina, that would actually be great. I don't know if I do. So, um, I can't remember. Is he good with, he is good with dirt. Oh, we can change his name. Finally. Okay. Spirit Tom. We're going to change Spirit Tom to Spirit Run Wild. I know you guys are probably thinking, what type of a name for a horse that? It's a name, and I'm keeping it. Spirit Run Wild. Um, or I, maybe I should just even change it to... Actually, Spirit Run Wild is fine. I, I'll remember that. All right, so race time for Spirit Run Wild. We're going to do the 10 mil again. I guess that's all we can do, and it's only on grass? Why is this the only race we can enter? Hold on. Is there no other races? Did we drop? Oh, you changed your horse's name and their qualification drops as well. Interesting. All right, well, let's just do this 10 mil then. Um, it's on the grass. I know that's not ideal, but we should be okay. So we'll have Fine Charger and Michael. And then we'll have uh, Spirit Run Wild and Lenny Link. All right. That should be a little bit better for us. We do have enough metals now that we can actually build a spa or move facilities around. I'm not going to build the spa yet. In fact, I'm just going to continue to just kind of level up. So I didn't know that. If you change your horse's name, it drops their qualification back. Hmm. All right. I have no qualms with that. that that's pretty cool. We are really making a lot of good money here with our gift shop and our, you know, memorabilia store. Fantastic stuff. So tomorrow's race should definitely put us over $2,000 and we'll be ready to expand the ranch in the next episode. Yeah, this game is really fun. I can't remember who told me to download this, but I'm so glad you did if you're still watching because this game is really, really, really fun. Like I said, it definitely gives me that Pokemon, um, Pokemon vibe just in a horse racing format, which is what really appealed to me for the game. And just the different things you can do. Um, the long-term play value is, is great here. We're in year seven and still a lot to do. Black Lola and Mayor Hefty produced a cult. All right. Can we look at the cult yet? So Black Lola is still breeding. No problem. <gasps> look at the cult. Oh, my gosh. It's so tiny. It's so cute. The day of the 10 mil has arrived. There's so much going on. We have two horses going out to race in the 10 mil. Black Lola has finally returned from breeding with a little colt of his own. A little Black Lola. I'm so excited. If you guys can't tell. So tactics. Uh, Spirit Run Wild. We're going to keep at the front. Fine Charger. Like I said, we're going to have stock and gradually pull ahead. Because we know we're going to need that stamina. It's a field of seven as well. So gate one, Spirit Run Wild. Again, stamina is going to be on our side. Sure, the crowd favorite. Lenny should blow this one out of the water. 88, run my Benny Wong. Gate three is 21 to run, run my Jeeves Whitlock. Gate four, reel and roller, run my Heather Honey. Post position five is Just Jumper, run my Timothy Lord. In gate or post position six, excuse me, is fine. Charger run by Michael Equus. He's the second favorite, so we should come in second. Stamina is much better. Running with uh, the position of stock, and not closer, but stock. We should be able to get a second place. I'm looking for that one two here. Post position one for Spirit Run Wild, and fine Charger is post position number six. All right. So 246, we're going to watch. We know Lenny's probably going to get out very well. Well, she gets out slowly right now. Let's make sure she sends herself to the lead. And she does. So let's go ahead and look at uh, Fine Charger, ridden by Michael Equus the fifth. So Lenny, she is comfortably ahead, a couple of lengths. Not really going to worry about her. Fine Charger, still in the midfield here. Less than half race distance left to go. He's got to close that gap. Come on, Michael. Close that gap there. He's not going to be able to do it. Now he's putting it on in another third place. So perhaps with this race, I could have, ironically, see, I thought I was going to do the 16 mil, and I didn't. This is a race that I still probably could have kept Fire Charger towards the front because he still had plenty of stamina left in the end. I was not paying attention. $1,100. Spirit Run Wild's a 16 mil horse again. 
So we can do that race again, but that will be in the next episode. But another win for Spirit Run Wild. Fine Charger gets a third place. We should be over two grand at this point, and we officially are. Big Lola maturation, three months. Big Lola, I like that. But we are going to change the names because Lola for the Colts is just not. It's a little interesting. So Black Lola, we're going to rename to. Um, Black Lab. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> oh, what's a good name for Black Lola? Actually, maybe we can keep Black Lola. That's fine. Big Lola, Black Lola. Nah, we're actually going to change that. Black Lola is a grade three horse, though. Um, let's change. Actually, I do like Black Lab. We're going to do that for Black Lola. And then Big Lola, when we can, we'll rename to Big Lab. I only want to use the word lab because I'm thinking about all the different things we're doing in the laboratory currently at this point in time. Now, Black Lola has stamina. Fine Charger actually needs that. So what I'm going to do, you're going to forget stamina, and we're going to put that on Fine Charger if I can, which means dexterity or speed will sacrifice dexterity, I guess. And we're going to put stamina on you. Metals required? I mean, I don't get it. Success is already at... What am I supposed to be doing? Do more metals increase your ability to learn the whatever it is? Uh, I'm confused. Do we succeed? I don't know. Stamina was learned. Fantastic. All right. Well, fire charger now has stamina. 254. That is what I'm talking about. Black Lola's stamina dropped. We need more stamina, clearly. Um, get out of the ba uh, bleh, the base, the gate good. Reduce speed, boost power. Drag racer for Black Lola as a seven-year-old? I don't know if I want to put that on that horse yet. We'll keep Black Lola where he is, or excuse me, Black Lab. Seven years old anyways, he's up there. I don't really know if it's necessary to adjust anything else to him. Um, we wanted to expand the ranch. Where do we do that? Um, upgrade. I think it was upgrade, right? Actions upgrade. Was it upgrade or no? I, I can't remember. Maybe it was an upgrade. It probably wasn't. Um, buy items. Landy. There we go. Expand your ranch. Oh, we get all this? Lovely. Should make things better. Do you need anything else? So can I do that more than once? I cannot. Um... Okay, so our ranch has been officially expanded, which means unless there's new buildings to train our horses at, which I'm not seeing any new, all I'm going to continue to do is just build more things to make more money and to make our ranch, well, more appealing for visitors. I eventually will move this stuff around, too. Look at the little, look at Big Lab. Oh, my goodness. Look at Big Lab just running in all the space, free as a, as a fold should be. That, that actually makes my heart rejoice. Anyways, guys, I was going to do it as much as I have enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more weekly horse racing content. Let me know your thoughts, comments, anything you want to let me know in the comment section below. Fortunately, that is all the time I have for you guys today, but I will see you all later. Goodbye.